An independent investigation finds the Suncor refinery in Commerce City does indeed meet environmental standards, but has room for improvement. The report is part of a $9 million settlement with the state from last year to resolve more than 100 air pollution violations. Connor McHugh continues his reporting on this, on the solutions the company is suggesting. More than a year after a historic settlement with the state, an independent investigation into Suncor's Commerce City refinery is now complete. The company Kearney looked into repeated violations dating back to 2017, concluding the site is designed to meet environmental permits and is sufficiently funded. But gaps related to culture, staff capability, or processes led to underestimating risk, contributing directly to most of the exceedances and incidents. I would say the blind spot was more to do with how we could improve our training more, uh, Connor, the use of uh, some simulators, the involvement of uh, more knowledge from outside of the refinery. Vice President of the refinery, Donald Austin, says improvements in training, communication, and technology are already underway. The company is also spending $12 million upgrading the two gasoline making units, which have released catalysts on the community like this incident in 2019. We have room for improvement, we will improve. And we hope to share that and share that journey with the community. Moving forward, Adams County Commissioner Steve Odorizio wants to see more. And I want to see some of these recommendations and fixes uh, baked into the conditions for future air and water quality permits. Lucy Molina remains skeptical too. This is something that was forced upon them. She lives a mile from the refinery and worries about its effect on her family and community's health. There's got to be a start somewhere, Connor, okay? And I appreciate that but I mean to me it sounds like a broken record because <laughs> I hear the same story over and over. Connor McHugh covering Colorado first. Now under the settlement agreement the state health department now has 30 days to review Suncor's implementation plan. In a statement CDPHE's director of environmental board said quote will evaluate the plan with an eye toward protecting the health and the well-being of those living working and going to school in that area.